the good news that came yesterday out of Washington, D.C., where the Senate decided finally not to pass a resolution that would reject the agreement, the nuclear agreement between Iran and the United States. And this is a true victory by all standards. The pro-Israel lobby worked so hard. Israel, especially the Prime Minister of Israel, Netanyahu, worked so hard lobbying the world, lobbying senators, congressmen, to defeat this agreement between Iran and the United States. Indeed, Netanyahu was going hysterical. He was going crazy. He did not want to see this agreement going through. And his puppets in Washington, the pro-Israeli lobby, APAC, they worked also so hard to block this agreement. According to New York Times, the pro-Israel lobby spent at least $30 million to stop this agreement. Putting advertisement in newspapers, TV stations, just to block it. But they failed. Indeed, they sustained they sustained a humiliating defeat yesterday when the Senate decided not to block this agreement and it is going through. So indeed, it was a big slap, not only on the face of Netanyahu, but also on the face of his puppets in Washington, D.C. This has to serve as a lesson to those congressmen and senators who always look up to Israel and its lobby, not to be so weak, vulnerable in front of their influence. Those senators who blocked the rejection of the agreement, those who supported the agreement, they prove that they have put the interest of the United States before the interest of Israel. They prove that what they did was for the best interest of the United States. And they proved that they are politicians who deserve respect for voting their conscience. And those senators especially Republicans and four Democrats who opposed the agreement because they were intimidated by the Israeli lobby. They should understand that the Israeli lobby is not God. It's not that really powerful lobby. They should not be so intimidated by their influence and by their Power. They proved that they are ineffective and they were not able to achieve their goal. This should send a powerful message to our politicians in this country that do not always follow the interest of other countries. Rather, always put the interest of your own country before anything else. And this should serve as a humiliating lesson to the pro-Israeli lobby who cares only about the interest of Israel. They do not care about the interest of the United States. The pro-Israeli lobby is obsessed with serving the interest of Israel, even if it hurts the interest of their own country, the United States. So, 
We are all grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this agreement went through. And we are very grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for disgracing those who are trying to serve the interests of a foreign country on the coast of their own country. 